Yeah, I guess I'll get started. No problem. I'll... <laughs> it's been long enough. I've been delaying the inevitable. So, hello everyone. This is the Ultimate Number, and welcome to a really, really quick and self-proclaimed horrible Toad's Tool 64 hack of Mario 64, also known as Master Quest. This hack was made by Kevin, and he's made like three Master Quests. Except the third Master Quest is like a remaster quest, which is just a remake of this, except it's not made in just 24 hours. It actually has thought put into it. But I'm playing the shitty version because uh, it should demonstrate how how bad Toad's Tools hacks can get, such as like Kaizo Mario. I don't like how I don't like how my mic is. I guess I'll lower it just a little bit. Just a little bit. That could make all the difference. Anyway, um, it had. If, in case you don't know what a Toad's Tool hack is, it basically has okay. no new courses. It's literally just Mario 64 with shuffled objects. So, it's like, say, compare, if you've played Ocarina of Time, it has, like, a Master Quest, which is, like, a different game, or if you have Ocarina of Time 3D, you have two modes, Normal Mode and Master Quest Mode. It, yeah, this game is basically that, to regular Mario 64. It has <laughs> moved, shuffled, objects... I don't know if it adds objects, I think it does. There's some objects removed. In such a way that while the levels themselves aren't changed, the objects are changed enough to where you really have to think about what you have to be doing just to get somewhere in the game. I don't think any signs are changed. If, if they are and Kevin happens to be here, I guess he can tell us. Okay, let's see if we can get lock to skip, because I've done lock to skip precisely nope. I've done lock to skip precisely once in my entire life. It wasn't a speed run, but it's not a speed run I archived on YouTube, so there. I do the as far as I'm concerned, the only text that's changed is star names and precisely one course. Yeah, not even Castle Secret Stars has changed. I'll try to do all courses in order. I don't expect to beat this game in one session. I plan to, like, if either three hours pass or I'm halfway through the game, I'm just gonna stop the stream right there. I don't know why I'm talking to these guys. I know, I know for a fact their text has not changed. And as we can see, objects were placed already. There should be a tree here. There just isn't. Wait, was this sign was this sign always here? Oh. Was that a typo? No. I don't think that sign was supposed to be there. If it was, I I show how much I pay attention. Big bob not on the summit. Oh, is he not now? Let's get up this way, because I don't think anyone ever gets up this way. Does this look too slippery? There we go. I wonder if anyone ever gets up that way. Oh, gosh. I'm sure someone has. Yes, I'm still playing on Glide 64. Oh. <laughs> he's not on the summit. He's like, not quite on the summit. But not quite. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I decide to, like, take him all the way to the bottom of the... to the foot of the hill. Will he allow it? 
Hold on, let me... Can I take him any lower than this? I can. I'm sure he'll say, no, you're supposed... No, the royal rules. Must fight with honor. It's against the rules to throw the king out of the ring. I like how in Mario 64 DS they just they just don't say royal or he. The way this guy works is that if you throw him any lower, I think it's lower. I don't know if about height. If you throw him any lower than his starting position, then he'll just he won't accept it. Also, I think the fact that he's saying, you must fight with honor, he's not complimenting you, he's like, telling you, hey, where's your sense of honor? Yeah, I think it's based on... Well, I mean, this ground is like, technically the same height as over there? Oh, uh, I guess I can test it out later. I know you can't... I know you can't throw him lower than his starting position. I'm not sure about higher. I guess not. Because then now it is jump work. Also, big bomb. Oh, I'm not on the summit. Another misspelling. The spelling is supposed to be Bob Ohm. Bob, uh, Bob Ohm. Or something. No, no, I think I'm not going to ignore the trees. I will, however, race Koopa the Quick because he is here. It's absolutely a requirement that he must appear on Star 2, and only Star 2, of not on Battlefield. Let's see if I can get this. Nope. Well, I'm not going to be fast enough now. Gosh dang it. I can usually get this like every time, but recently I've just haven't been able to. Well, time to climb these trees while I wait for his slow escargo butt to get over here. The camera's really not being nice up here. The camera is like really strange on the top of. King Bob's Mountain. It like the camera locks onto where King Bob is supposed to be. Like there's an invisible King Bob here. It like it's not actually King Bob. It's like an assigned object where he's supposed to be, and he only appears on Star One. And because the camera's designed to lock onto him. Does the camera lock on? No, the camera's like locking onto the center of the mountain. I guess if he's not there, then it just locks onto the center of the mountain because it doesn't know what to do. I know that when you destroy King bob though the camera still locks onto where he was. I know that much. Just out of reach. This one is like supposed to be like the you shoot to the floating island and then that's it. The star's right there. But in this hack, nope. It takes more effort than that. Normally you go into this cannon and there's the star. It's just on that island. Like, the box would be right there. But in, in actuality, I can't see it because I guess a draw distance. It's right there. And like the star title says, it's just out of reach. If I could ground pound, I could get the star, but you cannot ground pound out of a long jump. 
I have a real question. Can you activate boxes with a cannon? Okay, where's the star? Right there. So let's aim to the right until the island is just out of sight. That might make it if I aim... Like that, just diagonally, and then aim till the island's just out of sight. That'll, that'll work. I just need to aim a little higher. A little lower. Gosh dang it. What about aiming high? Let's get the... you know, let's get it this way. I just gotta set my controller range to like 20% or something. And yes, I'm determined to get it this way. I just want to prove that it's possible. To land on a tiny, tiny box. Okay, let's get the bottom of the triangle to line up with that shade of blue. How about that? Oh! Oh, that works. Okay, aim there. Let's put the range back on 100 so I can land on the box. Boom. And just like that. Stupid way to get it. That's obviously not how you're supposed to get it, but whatever. I, I just care that it's possible. Something I'd love and enjoy doing with Mario 64 ROM hacks is that I love to break them. Just to prove prove a point to where <laughs> just to teach just to teach hackers a lesson. I'm sure Mario Maker level players do that too, to just teach everyone a lesson. And the lesson is don't play it. And what was it? Red coins in stupid places? Well, guess I can get the 100 coin star while I'm here. Getting the 100 coin star without the wing cap, it's... It's not difficult, but it's not easy either. Just kidding, it is easy. You just gotta make sure you don't miss a single coin. There's the shadow of the box I broke. Mm. Couldn't remember if there was a coin there or not. I'll put those boxes later. Oh, there was two red coins there. Didn't look like it, but there was. Dang it. Will it still count? Yep. He delayed fighting me. Wow. Wait, did I only take two damage from that? Will it remember that I take three- that I- was supposed to take three damage. And let's take Bob with me, because he's my friend.
I didn't mean to throw him, but I like the fact that he turned around as I threw him. I immediately betrayed Bob. How cruel of me. He just wanted to be my friend too. People really make sad things about, like, why'd you kill that enemy? Maybe you want to be your friend. Like, I love how people, like, do that all the time when you happen to kill an enemy in an abnormal way. Like, a goofy, effed up way. I did get coins from in here, right? I think I did. Let me confirm. Go far away from it. Go sub resets. Yeah, I think I got one to base. So I'll pound these in so I know for sure that I got coins from these. If this is Mario 64 DS, you get coins from pounding these in, not just spinning around them. This one-up is like, it spawns from like, these four corners, not necessarily all eight coins. And that coin... Eight coin ring is specifically one object, believe it or not. Also... Can anyone guess what that is? It's actually kind of not fuzzy looking here. Thanks, Glide. It's a cow switch. <laughs> Bob Bomb died off screen while I wasn't looking at it. I love repeatedly grabbing bombs. There we go, that's the speedrunning trick, however the coins are like spitting everywhere. And that one's like already on the way to home. And I missed it. Okay, now I know why that box breaks. Because it thinks it hit a wall while it's moving. That makes sense. Fun fact, did you know this was a monkey bar? What I hit? <laughs> Having all sorts of fun today. Oh no, water. Yeah, we're fine now. Clean total. There's not King Bob-omb. Seems like, why do people believe that's King bob -omb? It's stupid and it makes no sense. Even if he was diffused, he still wouldn't roll like that. Yeah, 
I wonder what defusing a bomb, a bomb bomb, would feel like to them. If you defuse a bomb bomb, does that count as circumcising them? Either that did not have collision, or the collision was wank. Good. That's a lot of bowling balls. Isn't it like Star 4? I thought they were only most, most prevalent on Star 6. In case anyone doesn't know, those metal balls get more... yeah, that doesn't have collision. Get more prominent the further more in missions you get. Now where is the last coin? Thank you. Thank you. Get up there, please. Mario, get up there, please. Mario, get up there. Get up faster. There we- uh, no. <laughs> Fine, I'll get up the normal way. about what's in the pit. I mean, there's nothing in that crevice. <laughs> That's real fun. I love that Bob Hum. I wonder if people gave it a name, that one specifically. I have seven red coins. Where's the last one? Oh, is it up on these trees? I mean, it's the only place I haven't checked. Nope, did I see it? No. Or maybe I did, who knows? I do know that some collectibles are can be hidden in those things. There was absolutely nothing here. This is a good camera angle. This will be the thumbnail, clearly. Get a good vantage point from here, I hope. Where could that red coin be? Can it even be seen from here? I wonder. That lo looks like it right there, but it's not flickering rapidly, so that can't be it. It's not there. I know some cannons are replaced with stuff. Doesn't look like it's in there, but I'll check anyway. Yep, there's a cannon in there. Where's the last red coin? It's not in the flowers, is it? I haven't checked the flowers, so it might be there. Nope. None the that. Not there. Bless you. 
I have played this hack before, but I do not remember where the stuff is. Are we sure? Am I remembering wrong? Perhaps I've been spoiled too much by Remastered Quest. I was... I am trying hard not to spoil myself on Remastered Quest. I saw some stuff I was not supposed to see. Come on, where... Oh, wait, I know... I know where it is. It, it was what that shadow was. Yeah, I can't. Yep, there it is. <sighs> My bad. Should have checked harder. Should have noticed that shadow equals there's something above it. Oh. Why is it all the way up there? Can I even get that? Did I even get the... Yeah, I did. Well, as Kevin in one of his hacks said, just because I can do something doesn't mean I should. I think that star is unattainable. It's definitely unattainable. There's no way I can get that. Yeah, all the cans are just out of reach. No, not even just out of the reach. They're just flat out out of reach. Like, this cannon won't make it that far. Yeah, not happening. Not happening. Oh well. Let's move on to course two. Completely unchanged star. Okay, let's speed run it then. Wire. <laughs> I forgot about this course. Like, what even happened to this course? How was this even possible? Like, how can you change this in Toadstool? I don't understand. By the way, this hack has a number of Big Dip on a Bus references, so those who know him should know what some of these mean. But not quite, it's from Super Mario 74, where there's a star <laughs> that's just called Almost the Top. And then it's like, and then Big Dip ends it with, but not quite, in the, street, in the video title. <laughs> Oh, right. It's all... Actually, this is just straight up the top. But not quite. So that's also basically unchanged. Shoot into the real wild blue. You don't mean... 
18 miles in there, do you? Only one way to find out. Yep, there it is. In the real wild white. Good setup. Aim directly at it and then put the bottom of the down arrow at the bottom of the fence. Really good lineup. That metal cap sure is useless. Which, I think this is like the red coin star. I mean, it is star four. Hey, 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 hey. Coins, coins. Wow, they take forever. Are the butterflies still here? Yeah, the butterflies are still here. Most of the stuff is unchanged. There's the one up. So, like, this course's visuals are changed, but the collision is not, so these are still platforms here. The triangles, obviously. No, just the triangles. The platforms aren't there. So the triangles are the platform now. Did I see red coin? No, I didn't. There's a shadow there, though. Not there, but like here. Nothing up here, right? Nope. Like I said, the the visuals are changed, but the collision is not. That's gonna come into that's gonna mess me up real good when I get to like Rainbow Ride. Hey, camera. You wanna cope? Would you like a nice cold cold cope? There's a shadow here. That's, that's the star, isn't it? That's the cage star, isn't it? Not red coins in like the blast away the wall with this buff. That's not that one. Aha. Good. 
Let's look it up this way. You can't really play it rough when you have 2 HP, you know. Says that as I'm doing going up the unintended way. Not getting my coins, whatever. Gosh, the collision or visuals. No, it's the green demon. I'm safe down here. Oh, it got me! Where's the Oh, there's the last red. Is that yeah, that's the last red. Ow. Welp. <laughs> One HP hype. Fortunately, I know how the owl works. That's all you have to do. Hey, I got star in the cage dial. Does that count? Like I said, that metal cap sure is useless. What's the part? You mean the star below the cage dial? What about the oh, that star. I completely forgot about this star. This was this was absolutely inspired by Kaizo Mario 64. With which has a number of references, by the way. This is basically Kaizo Mario 64 Lite. It's not hard as much as it's dumb. Let me confirm, is people actually here? No, it's just me. Hang on a bit. <sighs> must always, must always have the wrong windows open. Gotta have windows open in a particular order. There we go. Here we go. Just a long jump away, the only star I haven't gotten yet. Alright. There it is. I've seen someone got it without a long jump. Nope. Hello, Super Saj. This is... Basically, Kaizo Mario 64 Lite. It is, it is definitely inspired by it. Also inspired by a number of Victim on a Bus references. This is not a serious hack, let me tell you that. Although it is really funny. 
Let's do slide. Coin switch still here, yep. Uh, it's called Super Mario 64 Master Quest. It's a hack made by Cabin. Just got this star. But do I get the secret one up here? Yep. This one up is a little dumb in the vanilla game. It's like, to activate it, you have to go straight center through like the three gates in the slide. And then you have to be where it spawns. That's how you get that one up. I think. It explains sometimes it spawns, sometimes it doesn't. I always knew it's there, I just... Like, to me it's like a little random whether it spawns or not. But now I know how it spawns. I know I can save myself. Not quite. Every time. That one up is like the second most obscure one up in the game. The most obscure one is in Bowser and the Fire Sea. Dang it. Whatever, I'll. <laughs> I I'll try getting stars without save states, but if I fail like a couple times, that. Yeah, I'm just... I don't want to be here forever, is what I'm saying. Yes, kitty. Yeah, weirdly all you want. I'm not going to attend to you right now. Yes, we have a kitty. But he makes the weirdest frickin' meows. And he's spoiled. I use this can't no I can't. I'm sure he's innocent, but like he's certainly annoying at times. That proves it right there. You can you can that that cannon's not a guaranteed death. I was told that cannon was guaranteed death. I proved it wrong. What about this cannon? Nope, I missed it. I can't even get off myself off the slide. But what I really want to know is, does this have the Super Mario 64 DS glitch where you can go up the slide if you're perfectly facing the opposite direction of it? It does not. If this was Super Mario 64, yes, you'd continue sliding up that slide. I except, like, extremely slowly. 
Also, Peach is a secret slide. Okay, where's the cannon? It's like in the middle. Yep. Can I use this to get on top of that structure? I cannot. Okay, so the only way to get on top of that structure is to do this. Except, in the current version, Kevin added a box there. Wait, did I see something else? No, that was Sparkles from the one up. Why'd I get up here? Because that's why. The wing cap is here! It's definitely inspired by it, like I said. But it's basically some rough it's basically Kaizo Light. Now let's get the wing cap. Well, except, oh wait, we already got it. Because the lights are off. The, yeah, the message doesn't even appear here anymore. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Pull back, pull back, pull back. I don't want to void out. If you go, if you go way too far, like out there, then you just void out because you got lost. Now that we have the wing gap, let's go finish B.O.B. Or dare I say it, C.B. Or C.C.B. Nope. Well, guess what we get to do again? Luckily we have the wing cap now, so we can we have my access to more coins. It's alright, not everyone's good at the game, as much as common folk are. And by common folk, I mean like... People who play it almost exclusively. Good, good bomb. Yeah, that star is... Snowman's lost his head is pretty, like, difficult at first. Because you kind of have to be fast. And if you don't pull ahead of the snowball in less than two seconds, then you're not going to have a good time, so... I say congratulations, because trying to get that, because that clip is basically your practice for bob -omb clipping. If you can pull that off, then you can probably clip with bob -omb's just about anywhere. So congrats.
I can, like... It's like a 50-50 for me. Like, I'm like 50-50 for, like, any tricks in this game, really. Either I get it or I don't. And I usually don't like the risk of not getting them. Because not getting them is, like, extremely time... time penalty. Oh, really? Do you have a... Do you have a PB that you memorized or took note of? Any particular PB? And, like... Like, how fast can you complete the game? And tell me how many stars. Like, um, for 120, if you can hold it off in, like, five hours, then that's, like, pretty impressive for someone who doesn't play the game often. Not bad at all. Like, isn't the common, like, isn't, like, common speed running time, like, 30 minutes or so? Because I'd say 45 minutes is, like, is, like, quite good. Oh, that's impressive. Three and a half hours. That's, a, that's like, only, like, maybe double of average speed running time. Or not average, but, like, really good speed running time. But that's really, really good. If you can, if you can sub three hours, it's like you're just about ready for anything Mario 64 related. I already got these. What am I doing? Oh no, I got hit by not King bob -omb. I keep forgetting where F5 is. Dang it. Oh, right, there's a point there. I still can't believe how we all fared in the race. Like, I really need to watch them side by side. It's like, I was doing really bad in the beginning, and then keeping up a good pace in the rest of the run. And then, like, with Big Dip and Cavan, they, it's like those two were neck and neck for a long time. And I was just tailing behind them. I pulled ahead of Big Dip, like, a few times because he died on 100 coin stars a lot. But he kept pulling ahead of me. But then I kept pulling ahead of him because he had stupid deaths. And Cavan was just the MVP of the race. Like, I legitimately thought I had Cavan there, but I was no match for him. What coins am I forgetting? What coins am I forgetting? Oh right, I'm missing this one, I think. Or, excuse me, these ones. I forgot that was two and one. Um... Like... 
I messaged him with a link to all of our videos at once, so he has one place he can download them from, which was one concern. So now that he has that easy access to them, um, he told at least me that he'll get on it in a few days. But I'm not expect, but I'm not expecting that soon, because you know, Josh's schedules is like. You never know what might happen. Secrets below bridges. Were they not there before? Are they only here on this mission? There we go. Does this count as a bridge? I wouldn't say this is a bridge, but like... It's like a stone bridge. Can we have a knife fight on it? It is a bridge, apparently. Dang it. Okay, now where's one more bridge? I don't recall any other bridges, really. There's a bridge, there's a bridge, got a bridge. Thank you! I really wonder what he's gonna do with all seven footages, like where he's gonna place them, what he's gonna do with them, what comments he might add, etc. Okay, any ideas where the fifth bridge is? Because I got that, I got this one, I got that one, I got that one, I got the stone bridge, apparently. And I wouldn't call this a bridge, that's a gate. there's like two under one. There might be two under one. You never know. There's not. Is this a bridge? There's no other bridges in the level.
What about here? There's no bridge, but whatever. place I can think of. Is Kevin even online? the bridge Is there suddenly a bridge up there? at the bottom of the island. That's not a bridge, but... But anything can happen in hacks like this, so... I wouldn't know. And there was nothing up here. Better not be at the bottom of the island. It is. Why? I mean, why not, but like... And it is Kaizo-inspired, but that's not a bridge. Every time. Time to climb up tree pano pandemonium again. took longer than it needed to. What's the sixth star? In a random can- oh. Oh, here's the one. Here's the one I'm remembering. Oh right, it's not this one. It's the useless one. You know, that one. Here we go. All right, two courses down. Oh. 
Better not collect those little coins. Oh, there's only five coins here. <laughs> As we can see here, Secret Aquarium not changed much other than added fish. Oh, we didn't really see much fish. There's some sushis, there's some nagis. Just... At least it's not Bubba. I'd be okay with, like, Bubs, but, like, not Bubba. Fuck Bubba. Is this one up still here? Yep. Here we go. Now let's check out Ro Jolly Michael Bay. Or I'm sorry, Jolly Rogers Lagoon. I must point this out every time now, but seriously, look at that. That's totally Hazy Maze Cave's haze. Just slightly transparent. And I've asked myself this question before, but like, can we see the haze inside this cave here? I haven't actually gotten a proper look at it. Doesn't look like it. Can we see through walls? Is there haze there? I don't, it doesn't look like there's haze. Well, I'm here. Might as well just fill out curiosity. I never realized that ceiling extended that far. Wait, just in case. Gotta look at the far end of the cave. Nope, I don't- I only see water. I do not see the haze. Does going in here deload the haze? Does the haze load back when I'm- I didn't realize those boulders were objects. I did not realize it. Is there a haze up here? And yes, I saw Minagi the Evil was out there. Nope, the haze is still here. I guess that means the haze... the haze plane is like... slightly smaller or something? Than the water plane? Or I don't know, maybe it's situated in such a way... Maybe it's like the same size, the plane is the same size, it's just that you just can't see it from any angle you look at it. Dang it, there, that would have worked if there was a box there. Now we gotta wait like 10 seconds. Oh no! Depending on if you're bad or good at the game, that's either an easier star or a more tedious star. Up and electric eel. Up and electric eel. I remember this star. This star gave a lot of people trouble. Really? You can't 
You can't get enough height there? Ouch. There, there he is. Unfortunately, I know his hitbox is, well, Unagi himself is like, you can still touch him, but like, you can't, the star is not where Unagi is at all. The star is actually following its original path. So what you have to do is wait for Unagi to get back on his original path. Which is right around here. And there you go. <laughs> Non-descriptive star name. Well, that's because it's like one of the easiest stars in the game, I guess. I believe, like, like the star order is still, like, the same, referring to the, the original star, so, like, this should be Treasure in the Ocean Cave. No matter what you do, you cannot change the chest order. You just can't. I don't think you can even change where the chests are. Because that would remove their code, I guess. Eight rocky reds. Well, there's a rocky red. As the star suggests, all the reds are on rocks. Because, you know, they found a rock. Why is there a lag here? Okay, that was like a rather... Meh. It's like, what can you do? It's a swimming exclusive red coin star, I'll say that much. Also, I totally should have got this with a hundred coin star. I'll do it next time. Or rather, I'll get it, like, on star six. Blast of the stone pillar? Question mark? No, I'm not gonna blast the stone pillar. I mean, I will. <laughs> I'm not gonna get much out of it. Love that lineup. Nope, three coins. Yeah. <laughs> 
This star, however, is a lot harder because he's trying to force you to use the Metal Cap, but I think you can still get it. I don't think I've ever once gotten a star this low into the jet stream. <laughs> well, I got it anyway. That was pure luck that it pushed me like that. Use the metal cap, damn it. So, where's, where's the star? It's just right here. I'm not gonna get it yet. Oh, and by the way, when I when I usually collect 100 coin stars, I usually get this box first. I know it's not required, but that's just me. I like collecting every coin, dang it. Swim past the coin, will you? Clams are useless now, because they have nothing in them. Dang it. Um, I'm really no good with precision movement on timers. Not this is really on a timer, because you don't need to be fast here to reach the boat. But whatever, I'll take the mystery box. Why is the ground jittering? Where'd you come from? Dang it, I missed. Did you see that? There was smoke where the shell was. Was there not? Does that mean the shell spot respawned there? Nope. Oh, right. Too used to the original game. Here we go. Wow, 
an hour and 26 and I've only got 25 stars. To be fair, I did wait like 10 minutes b before going live, or before starting. <laughs> Slippy's toenail. Whatever that means. I don't get it at all. Dang it. Oh. Just got it. Pile of babies. So here's a fun one. Penguin's not up there. Where is he? Up here. But which one is he? Not this one. Hey, second try. Just kidding. <laughs> How can one penguin be so fast? And then you catch him. It's like, hey, hey, not bad, old man. You might stand a chance. A small chance, but a chance. Well, how about against this penguin? Well, what are the odds that he'll say I cheat? I saw that. Yep. Ah. Yep. <laughs> Try to go up there, he'll say you cheat. Isn't the threshold for fast coin count, like, 70? Or something? Okay, before I go in this little... Actually, I'll just go on the slide. For, the for coins. Okay, I guess I'll get not quite every coin. I wonder if there's any red coins in here at all. I'll check the shortcut out later. There, I cheated. Nothing of note in here. Let's check out the whole mountain. I saw that. Nothing up there. <laughs> now let's search the slide top to bottom. Oh! Here we go. 
I forgot about that. <laughs> Teleport! Okay, for real, let's do this. See you move those corner coins. Wow. Okay, now don't use the top. I guess we're searching it from bottom to top, not top to bottom. This is the most scariest part of Cool Cool Mountain right here. I see that red coin there. That's gonna be fun. Oh? Do you know what was the cause of the power outage? Well, why am I going after Mr. Snowman here? Oh, right point here. Excuse me, invisible wall, why are you there? I mean, I'm glad you're there, not somewhere important, but still, why are you there? Okay, is this, is this several blocks or is this one wide block? Nope. Spin drifts. Seriously, what are you thing? What are you guys? You're like flower ladies that can somehow survive in cold environments. <laughs> Agreed. Just no context, like. Let's just make a level that's just a maze of invisible walls. Like, they're not act proper walls, they're the invisible walls that you can't just wall jump off of. And you can't fly over it with the wing cap. Let's give you a wing cap, but it's completely useless. It's and the invisible wall maze will will require It'll be like, that level has six stars, all of them are in the maze, one of them is a secrets star, one of them is a red coins star, and one of them's in an invisible block. I 
Magazine, the Mr. Snowman have been removed here. It really is the invisible coin block of the Mario 64 world. Oh hey, here's a wing cap. But is it used for anything? Oh, it, it's like, I guess it's like used for here, for instance. Where's the last coin? Is there one coin? Yeah. Where could that last coin be? I see the shadow here. Oh, it's there. What was the shadow? Oh, there's the star. There's the teleport Mario. <laughs> Wait, is there a warp still here? Is it gonna take me like... Is it gonna take me to death? Better not take me to death. Sorry. <laughs> the random box is in the slide. But what about the shortcut then? Is there anything in the shortcut? I mean, I know there is, but like, is there anything important? but there's an unreadable sign. We. Just make the slide as long as possible. Safe stay in the wrong place, buddy. Safe day in the wrong place. Safe date like here. <laughs> Good. Perfect. everything so far? Yep. Let's check out Big Boo's Haunt. And before I go in Big Boo's Haunt, is there anything here? Boo, there's no green rabbit up there. Punch you... Punch... Challenge run. Punch every boo in the face. It's a lot hotter than harder than it sounds. No, I'm not going to continue doing it. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. It's a lot easier in Super Mario 64 DS. Let's go. 
eh, catching the rabbits is at least something. They took the MIPS mechanic and made it better and yet more tedious. I would say. The only, I will say the only thing I don't like about it is that each rat, most of the rabbits are like character specific. That's what I don't like about them. Also, the glowing rabbit mission. That mission is, that, 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 that just has no reason to be there. Also, there's no reason here. Oh, wait. Boo party in the shed. Right. How could I forget this star? Does anyone actually like Mips? Those silver rabbits saying, like, they're faster than anyone else, they actually are. Like, at least the eight glowing rabbits, they're, like, faster than the other rabbits, but only just barely. And that whole bit about... That whole bit about this one particular rabbit being faster than the other eight brothers, I think it is true. I haven't proved it, but, like, if it is, it's only just barely noticeable. Yeah, that's really stupid. You have to talk to this one toad who claimed, Oh no, I lost all my keys. Also, the silver rabbits won't even appear until you caught the, the same rabbit who had the key. So that's even more dumb. Not really paying attention to the game, sorry. <laughs> oh wait, I should combine this with 100 coins. I guess. So yeah, the rabbits could have been better. Although I do like the minigames. I should, I should do this on Star 1. There's no price for catching all the rabbits, but catch but a price for catching a specific rabbit. Although the one rabbit, the one Luigi rabbit, for getting all 150 stars is like the biggest F you in the game. You catch it and it's just a better version of the sloths minigame. Oh boy! I selected star two again, jeez. They should have made that room, like, a whole level, where you unlock Waluigi. <sighs> that- those slots do have a difference, it's just better chances of winning, and better control over the slots. out of here. Fine, I'll leave you alone. What? I saw something up there. Oh. I honestly really love all the minigames in 64DS. Like, the Yoshi ones are... are really... are good. The Mario ones are really good. The Wario ones are really good. 
the Luigi ones is by far the most loved. And it's no not really much different for me. I love the I love Luigi's poker games more than anything else. Like I love them more because it's a good pastime, really. Whereas the other minigames and uh, not necessarily. I still enjoy them. I get maybe that's one reason a lot of people love Luigi the Luigi casino games more, because it's generally a good pastime. Although the Luigi game, casino games are like, they don't offer a whole lot. You have like, Memory Match, Paragon, which is very unique and interesting. Um, Picture Poker, which is just draw poker, but with pictures instead of numbers. Slots. Slots again. War, which is pick a card and pray. Memory Master, which is just Memory Match, but more so. Paragon and On, which is an endless version of Paragon. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, Roulette. You ever play New Super Mario Bros. and its minigames? It has some interesting minigames, like, there's unique ones, but the most interest- most interesting minigames is the ones in multiplayer, which also has unique ones. Yeah, New Super Mario Bros. DS, it like, has like half of the minigames featured in Mario 64 DS. It has some unique ones. But more, the most interesting part about it, I feel, is the multiplayer. You can multiplayer in those minigames. You can multiplayer Memory Match. You can multiplayer Paragon. Like, the multiplayer Paragon is, like, really interesting. You can multiplayer a lot of minigames. But there's some off- but there's also unique ones, like... bob Reversi. Reversey. Are you familiar with Reversi? Like, not a people understand how Reversi works. So I wouldn't be surprised if you don't know Reversi. It's, but yeah, bob -omb Reversi, it's basically Reversi, but with bob -ombs. It also has some cool music, which is just the Toad House theme but a really good remix of it. I definitely recommend checking out the new Super Mario Bros. DS minigames and its multiplayer, especially multiplayer. If you love the Super Mario 64 DS minigames, definitely give multiplayer and new Super Mario Bros. DS a try. I recommend New Super Mario Bros. DS in general. It's a really good game. Really good platformer game. It's like, it's like my personal favorite 2D Mario game. Oh. That's a little disappointing. Have I gotten a single red coin? Is there red coins in this at all? Huh. <sighs> I would love to get me a DS Fat again. It's like my favorite model of the DS. I love how clicky the buttons and D-pad are, and I love the thumb pad. The only thing I don't like about it is that there's no stylus slot. That's the only thing I don't like about it. If it had a stylus slot, it'd be perfect.
That's like the one game I do not have the ability to play. The one new soup game. And I've seen playthroughs of it. It looks like... It looks... Really modern. That's all I can say about it. Okay, so I have nowhere else to go, so let's ride Mario's go round. Yeah. Understandable, also, what? Where's the. It is really good from what I've seen of or what I've seen of it. It's just that my problem with it is that it... Well, I guess it's no different from everyone else's problem, but like... Is he even looking at me? Like, I have no real problems with the game. It's like... It's like... I can't quite describe the problem with it, other than, like, it sure is new soup. New soup. It sure is a 2D Mario game. Maybe I should play it myself to get a better perspective on it. Am I even doing this right? Is this... Is this Star... Is this star? I mean, I got its attention. I sure did get its attention. Am I supposed to just ride it? This reminds me of Brighter Day, not gonna lie. Brighter Day is scary as fuck. Oh yeah, New Super, New Super Luigi U, which is just... It's... It's... It's Mario U, but more so. And also, the 100 Hero, 100 hero Challenge. I can agree with that. Most people generally seem to think that's better. I think primarily because it's like faster paced. Where'd the star appear? Did it appear in like the elevator room? If I eventually get a Wii U or like better Wii U emulation, I'm definitely giving those games a try first thing. Cause, Cause it's the game I'm generally the most curious about at the moment. No. I- I'm streaming. No. No, seriously, what's- where's the star here? Did you catch where the star appeared? Cause I didn't. Wait, I didn't check. It appeared up somewhere. It's so it's not in the basement then? Okay, so that's all I know basically. Wait, no? I'll check again. Why did I save that? I could have load saved. Yeah. It's 
not there. It's not here. We know it's not in the merry-go-round. Not here. Wait, did I see it? I, th I saw a pixel yellow. Or was that the door? Yeah, that was the door. Well, it's not here. in the useless room. Does not appear to be in the useless room. Is it on top of the shed? Not on top of the shed. In this level? You crazy? Oh, is it? Is it in Secret of the Haunted Books? Wireframes? Do we need to do wireframes? I think we need to do wireframes. Well, I'm on a wireframe. <laughs> it's looking like wireframes are required. Wait. No, that's just pixels. Also, bookshelf. Oh, wait, is it in, in the midpoint between this and the room? I thought I saw something. I saw nothing. I just realized. The star I'm getting is eye to eye in the secret room. So the star must have appeared in eye to eye to the secret room. And I don't have the vanish cap. I'm stupid. Actually, you know what? I I don't have the vanish cap. I don't I don't need to be I don't need to be here yet. So let's go get Bowser. Yeah, I thought I got Ride Big Boo's Merry-Go-Round. No, I just remembered that I killed Eye to Eye. So let's go into this pandemonium. That sure is useless. Wait. The 
lost all our coin. There's the sponge tower. There's whatever that is. Forgetting where my F keys are. When does anything when does anything look pleasant in this pack? Oh, 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 I see. Stop pressing F6. No F6 doesn't do anything. Yeah, just because something physically touched me doesn't mean it actually touched me. A good instance of this is like in Bowser in the Sky, where, you know how the carousel rides with the little diamond shaped thing? Where it physically is isn't actually where it is, it's like the reason sometimes there's an invisible wall when you long jump from it. Oh. 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 Okay. Whatever you say, game. And I didn't even know you could put these in like Like what what is this? I didn't even know that was possible. Like rotating the stairs like that. Can I- may I remind you that I did play through this before, totally blind? I, I kinda know what to expect, but then again I don't, I kinda forget- it's been like two years since I played this. Was it actually two years? I don't remember. Dang. Is this the Japanese version? Nope, I'm not even on the key. Okay, let's go get Vanish Cap, then we'll return to Big Boo's Big. Wait, gotta check. You're not supposed to do 180. Well, time to have some roast rabbit. Never mind, my goose got cooked instead.
Okay, what has changed about this course? So far, nothing. Except that the red eight coin star appears there. Oh. Oh yeah, you can't long jump off of ascending platforms. My bad. Oh. Stop pressing F6. Not quite. Hello, yellow switch. You sure are yellow switch. Fun fact, did you know that the, there was supposed to be a yellow switch and it was supposed to activate yellow blocks? They weren't cat blocks, they were supposed to, like, contain their own... St They're basically the yellow blocks used in this game, containing stars, one-ups, or coins. And this switch was supposed to activate those. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Bad idea. That way. Nope. Why is it here? Okay, let's move this platform and then launch it. An extension of the switches. You know how there's only one switch in. DS, just the red one. There were supposed to be the other three. The metal cap and the vanish cap and the yellow block. In addition to the blocks, there were supposed to be, like, blocks that, like, give you the caps so you can transform the Mario, Luigi, and, and Wario. And probably even Yoshi. Lots of unused stuff in Mario 64, especially DS. Well, I came there to get Vanish Cap, but we didn't get Vanish Cap, so Vanish Cap must be a Metal Cap Cap. So let's go to Hazy Maze Cave, I guess. But first, gotta get this. Yeah, they kinda are with their own unique power-ups. Mario has the wing cap, as well as the pea balloon. Yoshi has fire, breathe, flamethrower. Luigi has vanish cap, Wario has metal cap. Time for my favorite level in the game. In a lamp. Remember that from Kaizo? I'm not going for that yet. <laughs> it kind of. You're so. It's supposed to be for. It's supposed to be for Wario, but why would you go into the level with Wario? Why? Because, you know, it's supposed to be the metal cap. Yeah! 
Oh, hello, Dory. You're not even in the water anymore. Here we go, totally in the metal cap stage. Oh wait, we already have metal cap. It can produce anything. Like, the boxes in Mario City 4 DS can produce anything, as long as you're that character. But, some blocks are duds. Specifically to prevent you from... Yeah, exactly. They do that specifically so you can't break something. So, for example, if you're Mario in Snowman's Land, if you try to break, break the block nearby, it's just a bob -omb. If you're Wario... No, not Wario. If you're, if you're Mario in Jolly Roger Bay, and you break the block, it doesn't give you a pea balloon, it's just a bob -omb. Stuff like that. I know stuff like that. But those are the only two duds I know. Do you know of anything I don't? Any other duds? It'd be interesting. I don't know why would it, those would be duds. Okay, now where's the other red thing? Is it like at the start? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I only know those of those two. Well, we have all four caps. Yes, four. Here we go. Um, there's two stars in those stages, each. Mean Cap only has the one star, but Metal Cap and Vanish Cap have two stars. It's like, in Metal Cap, there's a star you get with Mario with the pea balloon. In Vanish Cap, there's like, this whole section where you have, where there's a switch star, and you, and, and you have to wall jump so high up. Yeah. Instead of the at instead of there's added one in the wing cap, there's an added one in Mario in the rainbow. Over the over the rainbow. And that one is just use Wario to break a black brick box. That's it. Okay, so what is this cannon used for? This cannon is used for what a what? It's used for a what? Well, down, coming down here was pointless. Let's just search for the lamp. I I like I don't dislike the multiplayer in the in Mart in DS. None of the courses are really unique, but at least they made fun out of them. Okay, am I gonna get wrecked? 
it would have been better if they included, like, basically every court. Like, basically, like, if two players own the same game, then you can play on all the courses. That would have been fun. That would have been really interesting. Yeah, it would have been cool if it was, like, more than one mode. Like, more than just collect the most stars. It would have been, it would have been cool, like, try fight or, like, because, you know, as if there was any fighting like, to begin with, other than just punching and ground pounding. Or like, collect the most coins, or like, do the most objectives in the normal game. Or maybe like, a co or maybe like, have that as a cooperative mode, if two people own the same game. Like, it had, it had so much potential, and it just didn't do it. Ah, if only. Yeah. You know, like, the original idea. It, isn't someone, like, working on a project that basically is that? Check these lamps. Hey, camera, that's not what I told you. Camera, look this way. Skillux, I think is his name. He, he's definitely making stuff, it's just... He's just taking his sweet time. I look forward to what he has in store. Please tell me the star's not in the underground lake lamps. I've seen a, I've seen a lot of it so far. I've seen like the tree level. I've seen the, I've seen the first level. I've seen a level where you have to outrun a chain chomp, which is just a snowball in disguise. Is there no fire here? Yeah, there's just no fire here, just the lighting. I'm not going into the toxic yet. Where are there more lamps? I don't have to go in the toxic maze, do I? I guess I gotta. I genuinely do wonder... Oh. Well, that's not the star I'm looking for, but... I genuinely do wonder, like, why can't hacks make a haze color other than white? Because here's, like, yellow, and it's like a double layer haze. To make it look more, like... Gas. in here, but I might as well check anyway. Also, this is the updated version, so it might change more than what I thought it changed, but like, is there anything under the elevator, like true Master Quest? No, there is not. Therefore, it is not Master Quest. You can't call it Master Quest and not have something underneath the elevator, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Wait, I saw something. Okay. I hope Remastered Quest has that. Remastered Quest is like this, but like, more care put into it. That's actually difficult to check. Nope. <sighs> it's underground, isn't it? Why is there no heart there? I'm too used to being a heart there. Wait, there's lamps up there. There's lamps up here? Well, it's not there either. I never noticed there was lamps up here. Regardless, there's not a star here. Oh, right, there's that lamp, but I gotta check these lamps first. Nope, not there. Nope. If there was something in there, I'm pretty sure Mario would touch it. Okay, there's ex one lamp I didn't check, so it must be in that one. Let me verify there's a lamp up there anyway. Yep. There's no shadow here. I don't know if stars can generate shadows, but like... Why'd I kick? Well, what if I don't want candy? Speaking of, I am actually trying to specifically avoid candy. Oh, they do have shadows? It's not that lamp. Okay, Kevin, where's the where's the star? It's time for wireframes. Checking this again just in case. Fuck, this graphics plugin doesn't have gra doesn't have wireframes.
There's no lamps underwater. There's like eight lamps here. Ten lamps. Oh no, I updated the bug's home. A lamp isn't an object. It's just deck it's just geometry that happens to have no collision. Tell me if you see it, because I certainly don't. Oh, did I see it? No. Okay, I checked every lamp. Yes, I am. I'm looking for in a lamp. See? In a lamp. I'll check those two lamps again. Platforms. You mean the elevator room? Oh, there's the Dory Star. Yeah, the elevator room. Not that lamp. I don't think that room has a lamp, but if it does, it's like maybe like one. Okay, we know for a fact it's not either of those lamps. Is Cavan or Hopper or whoever awake? I could certainly use their help. Sure, it's not this one. I seem to remember a star being in this lamp specifically. Nope. Nope. Check all of these. I don't remember checking the beginning thoroughly, so I'll check it again. Oh, it is in that lamp, what the hell? Here we go! 
Did I not check it? Guess what? In another lamp. I checked all of them. And they... <laughs> Look, guess what? We get to check all of them again. Because this star specifically does not appear until you get this one. Wait, 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 wait. It's this one, isn't it? The one that's, like, hard to get to. does not have a shadow. Okay. Say so. I'm gonna check them all anyway, just in case. What if it's this one? Well, it's not that one. No camera. Flying Beast in the Cavern. What's next? Running Beast in the Cavern? Climbing Beast in the Cavern? Let's go. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't check this lamp. Nope. Oh, here it is. You were right. Do we have in a third lamp? Nope, where the stars used to be. Okay, so let's do 100 coins. blue coin switch because the Monty Mole can easily ruin your life. Where did that bat go? you.
Thankfully, we're in the same place. Kind of floating there. Last one I is in that alcove. The not so secret ledge. Really? You are not facing anywhere near that ledge. I'll end it off with Big Bruce Haunt. For now, let's do Lethal Lava Land and Shifting Sand Land. The Playground Bully. But where? Not here, obviously. Oh, hello. Here we go. <laughs> that was a really good big bully. The meaner playground bully. And by so mean that the three little bullies trapped him in a cage above. And when the three bullies are defeated, he dies. Oh. Oh. So, what kind of drugs are this? Again, what kind of drugs are this? Again, what drugs are this? What is this 15 puzzle here? It's so messed up. How do you even... How is that even a single object? 
Like, what? How did you even make that? I can see this is no longer a wing cap. But where's the playground bully? Underestimated. Is this one up mushroom still here? Height. Nope. This platform is slightly lower. Okay, but where's the playground bully? Is he like inside the volcano or something? here. Yep. Here we go. Where's the playground bully? I've searched everywhere. This level's not that big. Yeah. 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 
Explain. Did that just generate more coins? The puzzle piece above me? Oh, there's the big bully. It just didn't load in until I'm like right next to his face. Not in the lava. coins now, but just in case, crazy box. Collect the star while the very volcano erupts itself, and then I go inside after the eruption. Seems like a good idea. What? 
I guess those balls just don't exist. Where's my save state? Okay. Mario, I told you to face right, and what did you do? You faced upwards. Okay. It sure was not in the lava. Time to go to shifting shift land. The one up that everyone ignores. I don't think Klepto is even here. No way, I heard him flap. I heard him flap flap. Where's the one up that everyone ignores? Is it that one? Well, I don't ignore it. Get out of the sand. There's Klepto. Klepto the strafing condor. <laughs> he tried stealing my hat in the cutscene, but I'm wearing the wing cap. There's the star. Somewhere, just somewhere inside the ancient pyramid. Is it up here? There it is. Camera. Thank you for showing me it twice, by the way. You don't need to open the top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that means the star's unchanged. Good. Woo! <laughs> 
Shut up, cat. Just go to where you need to, so we can all move on with our lives. Like, why do you have to be like 10 miles away from where you want to be? Why must we be where you want? Like, our cat is like... non-telegraphic of what he wants. If he wants, if he wants out of the room, he stands literally on the opposite side staring at the door. If he wants outside, he stands at the opposite side of the house where the door leading outside is. If he wants food, he just... Just no real indication. Other than constant meowing. Also, no, you can't really change Irox AI. It's just that I happen to be at, at a bad place. Anyway, it's like if we're standing in our cat's way and we lift up a foot, he will go under our foot. And we will end up stepping on him. It's his fault. Anytime we step on him, it's his, it's his own damn fault. When we're not looking at him, he just suddenly rushes up Mach 4 in our way, and then we end up dancing our feet on him. It's so bad. I'm, I'm sure he's perfectly lovable, but, but oh my gosh, is he spoiled? He could have been well better taken care of by his proper owner. Raping Condor. Hello, Tweester. Oh, fly guy. Oh, fly guy. I'm gonna ignore you. He's also in Sunshine Isles. I don't think he can steal your hat in Sunshine Isles, but he can in Tiny Huge Island. Oh, there's a Pokemon. Thank you. 
56 should be good enough. The reason I hate Tiny Huge Island is... Well, it's not my most hated level, but... I hate it the same reason everyone else does. Which is frickin' Tiny Island and Bubba. So, very much the same reason as everyone else. don't even get that much in Tiny Island. Like, its whole purpose is for one star. Okay, maybe two stars. And also... being a shortcut. Other than that, just don't go to Tiny Island. <laughs> it's not that huge, but it is a lot it is bigger than most normal levels. Okay, maybe it's not that big, but it's still kind of huge. But where's Medium Island? Cigarettes. The things I'm monkey barring over and they're totally cigarettes. I have not I have not seen such a thing yet. Also, could the camera inside the pyramid be any shittier? I hate the camera in the pyramid. You didn't notice the secrets the whole time? The first time I played this, I got this like, no problem. I found these secrets no problem. They were in expected places. Sorry. Why aren't you collecting coins? I forgot this 
was called Why Aren't You Collecting Coins? That was the ultimate laughter when I got the star for the first time. I don't know. You probably could, just like the original game. I think I think this game still requires 70. But we'll see. Not today. N not tonight, but maybe like tomorrow or something. They're dead. Because they're not marked by coins anymore. That would have been cool. on the pyramid, but a shy guy was in the pyramid. <laughs> they sure were. Okay, now where is... Where is T red, red coin? Where is stupid place number eight? Oh, there it is. It's just in its regular place. No, not even regular place, like the, the other cork box in, in the ruins. What is that even in reference to? I never got that. Gosh, the mic. Okay, I'm gonna do Big Boo's Haunt, and then we're gonna be done with the stream. Because I've been going on a little too long. It sure was, but where exactly is it from? <laughs> Perhaps it doesn't have an answer, much like the rest of Big Designate does.
Did I seriously not get that many stars here? Let's go. Oh, now there's fire here? Now there's fire here? Oh, right, because... Oh! This place wasn't active because... Oh! I was on Star 1. Walking in circles. Gosh, remember that LP? First you ride Big Boo's merry-go-round, then you ride Big Boo's merry-go-round again. It's still on Big Dip's channel. It's just the game itself is no longer on the internet. That's the problem. Switch in one of the rooms to remind me to check. Circles is a really obscure LP of his. Oh, oh! Did Green Dog have a good remem had a rememberable mom rememberable moment? I did watch that LP. I just don't remember anything fond of it. So what does that switch do? That that. I should watch Green Dog again. I like how that title just fits the screen. Just. Also, I meant to point this out earlier, but... 
Look at that cage. It has like eyeballs decorated on it. Also, I see the manor. It's like... Look how tiny that manor is. It's like... It's just made of bricks. Brown bricks. It's just a brown brick box. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was it. Red coins do, in fact, exist. But where? I've searched the whole level. Not here. Turns out they're all on the opposite side of the top. Oh. I'm not sure, because I don't pay because I don't care about that. to the party. Oh, I think I know what party. Yep. Oh. He's, he's just up high. I see. Resident Evil was released a few months before Super Mario 64. Probably is. Most things are done intentionally and just added just for that extra touch. Well, I think we're gonna end off here. It's been three hours, pretty much halfway through the game. I will end off by doing something stupid. I dread if this is a thing we see in ROM hacks. <laughs> I 
though. I want all of you to get in the corner. Every single one of you. I want endless cycle. end off on that note. 